rights, as you know, as uh, Americans, is the right not to be spied on by the government. Uh, uh, a FISA order may only be issued based on a finding by the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court that probable cause exists to believe that the target of surveillance is an agent of a foreign power. Uh, one of our colleagues, Representative Nunez, has referred eight persons to the FBI for investigation concerning alleged misconduct during the Russia investigation, including the leak of highly classified material and alleged conspiracies uh, to lie to Congress and the uh, FISA court in order to spy on then-candidate Trump and uh, other persons. I would hope the Department of Justice will be giving these referrals appropriate and uh, prompt consideration. Uh, my question is, now that President Trump has been exonerated of Russia collusion, is the Justice Department investigating how it came uh, to be that your agency used a salacious and unverified dossier as a predicate uh, for a FISA order on a U.S. citizen? <clears throat> the Office uh, of the Inspector General has a pending investigation of the FISA process in, in the Russian investigation, and I expect that that will be complete in probably in May or June, I am told. So hopefully we'll have some answers from uh, Inspector General Horowitz on the issue of the FISA warrants. More you, go ahead. More generally, uh, I am reviewing the conduct of the investigation and trying to get my arms around all the, the aspects of the uh, counterintelligence investigation that was conducted during the summer of 2016. Are you investigating who leaked the existence of the FISA order against Carter Page? Uh, who what? Uh, are, you, are you investigating who leaked the existence of a FISA order against Carter Page? Uh, I haven't seen the, the referrals yet from uh, Congressman Nunez, but obviously if, if there's a predicate for an investigation, it'll be conducted. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Slowly.